All right, we're going to go over the trucker's hitch, all right? This is great not to know. And we got this on as a request from one of the viewers. So um, this knot is for uh, tying off a load usually, like, like really, really ratcheting down a load or um, securing tent posts uh, or something like that. We use it in tree work a lot for pulling over trees, but we don't hitch it off. But So I'm going to show you how to hitch it off. And to demonstrate, I'm just going to be tying this between two fixed anchors, and I'm going to show how to get the rope nice and taut and, and uh, for it to stay nice and taut. All right, so my, my knot of choice for my first anchor point is going to be this slip figure eight. All right, now again, that's like one side of my trailer, or that could be the, the, the tent that you're going to try to stake to the ground or whatever. All right, then this side would be the other side of the trailer, or it would be the tent stake if you're doing this with cord, um, or something like 550 cord or something like that. Um, but for this demonstration, all right, notice we've got it anchored off at one point. We come around our other anchor point, and we just go around it. Now, don't try to waste energy trying to keep it all nice and tight right at this point. Make your slip knot first. And to make our slip knot, we're going to pull a bite from the side that we looped around, okay? Not from this side. You want to test your slip knot to make sure that it doesn't choke on your finger. If you do the slip knot wrong and you pull from the first anchor side, you'll notice that when I pull on it from this direction, it starts to choke on my finger and that'll, that'll prevent you from making this really nice and tight. You're gonna put in this slip knot and this is really the, this is the whole thing that gives you mechanical advantage. The slip knot becomes a redirect and kind of substitutes as a pulley. And as you pull this super, super tight, it gives you three to one mechanical advantage. One, two, three, okay? So you don't want that choking, so you're gonna pull from this side, not that side, for your for your bite to create the slip knot. Now, another thing that you wanna do is just get your half, before you worry about getting it super tight, get your half hitch in here. This is a slip half hitch. You wanna get this in, and I'm going to flip it over like that so that the tail is, is farther away and what uh, farther away from the um, from the slip knot here. What this does is when you pull this super, super tight, you, get, you want to keep it nice and taut. So you've got your you're going to have to lock it off with that half hitch. So, again, I know this is kind of hard to follow. Bear with me. Once you've got it to the tightness that you want, hold all these together, pinch them so they don't go anywhere, and then feed that rabbit ear or slip knot as close as you can to get it where, um, to get it like up against this point right here, okay? Feed it like that because that's what will lock it off. And then tie one more slip knot right under it uh not slip but slip half hitch excuse me tie one more right under it and then when you push on this it stays nice and taut okay now i'm going to show you one quick thing that we do with the tree work side um of this rather than using the rope itself when we're pulling over a tree What we like to do is, if that's anchored up into our tree, we like to put in one of these little Petzl rolling lock carabiners. Then we go around another tree, a safe distance away. And in this case, we're gonna need to move the slip knot further up. We, you can use a friction hitch too, in place of this. I'll show you in a second. But it's essentially the same thing. The trucker's hitch is just a three to one mechanical advantage and, and hitching it off, muling it off uh, with those slip half hitches. But when you are when you wanna like put a lot of force on something and pull a tree over, this is what we like to do. And this pull 
is actually just a tree out in the woods that we that we use or a redirect or something you can put a pulley off of off of a truck or some kind of anchor you build some kind of anchor but this could just be a thin smooth bark tree works really well and then you just you can really you have a lot of uh, power over whatever the object is that you're trying to pull over the tree or whatever so that's the three to one mechanical advantage system and again um if you have hitch cord which i don't think i've got any on on hand right now but you can just tie a prusik knot around this and then clip this in and then you can adjust it up and down you can adjust your pulley up and down so really trucker's hitch is just a three to one that uses its own slip knot that's all the trucker's hitch is and what makes the trucker's hitch special is that it can you can keep that rope taut which we don't tend to do very much in in our tree work but again as i said i like to get that rabbit ear in there first then you can pinch hold everything in place and work that that rabbit ear which is the slip half hitch as close to the knot as possible that's what will keep it from slipping. You put in another one. That's if you want to keep it taut, like on your tying down a load on your trailer or something like that. All right, hope that was thorough enough. Let me know in the comments.